Hi guys, it's Steffi from The Novelty Corner and today I wanted to show you a bit of a book crafty video and that is making ribbon bookmarks because ever since I found out about ribbon bookmarks I've been obsessed and I bought tons and tons of them. I was fortunate enough to be on a design team for someone who made them and then I taught myself how to make them and yeah, they're really fun. They are, and I'm going to show you how to make them afterwards, but I thought I'd show you some of the ones that I've already made because they're a great way to use up your ribbon. So, uh, a few months ago, I purchased my very first blind date with a book uh, package, and it came wrapped in ribbon that said blind date with a book. So I decided to make a bookmark using the ribbon that I can put inside the book that I received in that box, which was Embassy Town by China May uh, Mayville. And it is a science fiction-y themed book, so I added some little spacey charms to it. And I really love it. I think it's really cute. Oh, this one is my The Sun is Also a Star bookmark. Because it's got the little headphones and a little love heart and a little star that says love you. This is my replica bookmark, also on the pink ribbon but with the helix and the butterfly. Next is my Nevernight bookmark, which has a little masquerade mask, a little dagger, and a little cat on a moon. So the cat represents Mr. Kindly from the book. This is one of my favorites. This is my This Savage Song bookmark with the violin and the music notes. This bookmark was for Threader by Rebecca Turner, because it's all about people with abilities, and the sun represents the Helios Academy, where they all train. This is my Resand bookmark. Now these charms I actually repurposed from a necklace that I bought and I was no longer wearing so I thought I'd put them onto a bookmark which is a great way to re reuse old jewellery that you're no longer wearing. This is my Grisha Trilogy bookmark with uh, the sun and a little darkness shadowy pendant. This is just a little fun one that says I love to read made with love. This is a Ravenclaw bookmark. Again I repurposed these little words from a piece of jewellery that I had that I wasn't wearing. I have also made Christmas bookmarks and I made these for family and friends during the holiday period so everyone got one and I made them in white and red. And then just to show you you don't need to use flat ribbon you can use specialty ribbons and just throw on any bits and pieces that you like. So I'm going to show you how to make three different bookmarks. I'm going to make a Cinderella themed bookmark. I'm going to make a Chanel bookmark. This is for my sister and I need to make it so I might as well make it on camera um, because she got some Chanel books, coffee table books for Christmas and I said I would make her one using the ribbon. And I'm also going to be making a Lord of the Rings bookmark as well. You'll need a few things. Basic supplies, you're going to need a ruler, some pliers and some scissors. You're also going to need some jump rings some ribbon crimps, ribbon and charms. And like I said, if you haven't got charms, you don't have to go and buy them. Although if you want to, you can go and get them off eBay. That's where I get mine from. But you can repurpose old jewelry and things that you've got lying around. So just, you know, see what supplies you've got. So I'm gonna start with the Chanel ribbon. So what you wanna do is make sure you have a nice flat starting edge. And then I usually measure out about 28 and a half centimeters long. So I've got a bit of spare ribbon as well. Then I take my ribbon crimps. And I will say, I'm not professional at doing this at all because quite frankly, working with any supplies that remind me of jewelry freaks me out. But there you have it. So if I can do this, you guys can do it. Oops. Okay. So you pop your ribbon crimp on the end. And you can get all different sizes for the ribbon crimps. You just need to know what size ribbon you're using. And then you squish, oh, it's a bit squished. Oh well. And then you repeat it on the other end. I actually squeeze mine down just a little bit before I use the pliers just so that I get a rough idea of where it is. You can still wiggle it around though. Okay, so 
Now you've got your ribbon with your ribbon crimps on it, so you need some jump rings. I might just leave a few out because I'm going to need some more later. And with jump rings, it's always important to remember to just move them to the side. Don't try and squish them up and down. I learned that the hard way. Thread it through, add your charm on. And then close it up. And then that's one charm on your mark. So this little um, perfume bottle charm I just got off eBay. I was looking at actual Chanel charms but they were super expensive and I love my sister but I think she'll appreciate the fact that I can't spend $300 just on a charm for a bookmark which I think is reasonably fair enough. That one's super pretty and it will match her books beautifully and I just like the simplicity of silver and white. It's very classy. So there you have it. One bookmark made. And this is all in real time people. These make really good gifts for people. So. Alright, I'm going to do this Lord of the Rings one. Which is a super huge ribbon. It's very pretty and I saw this purple and I don't know why it made me think of Lord of the Rings because it, I don't know, Lord of the Rings doesn't seem like a really purple sort of thing but maybe it's the royalty aspect of it. And I got this um, Even Star charm, it actually came on a necklace so I just pulled the chain off, pull, pulled it off the chain and then this little charm here says, if it's going to focus, not all, not all those who wander are lost so I thought they'd make great Ending. So this is quite a chunky one. This is more of a, a decorative than a functional one, I would say. So this crimp is just a fraction small for this one, but it doesn't matter. I think it will be fine. I'm just using what I have. Like I said, if you want to, you can order all different sizes on. I get all my stuff off eBay. Once that's secured in place, grab your jump ring. I'm going to apologise, guys, because I don't really talk while I craft, so... That's why I go silent. So I've got my even star on there. It's so pretty. I remember ages ago when the film came out, came out originally, and I was just desperate, desperate, desperate to get one of the replica even star necklaces. Now I here I am tearing it apart because that's you know what I do. And there you have it. My Lord of the Rings bookmark. So shiny and sparkly and pretty. And last but not least, well let's clear some of this up because I'm making a mess. I'm going to make a Cinderella themed one. So I have these cute little pumpkin carriages and some acrylic glass slippers which is kind of huge but that's okay because this is all for fun now, that's all a little bit creased so I'll save that up for another project If you guys have followed any of my tutorials in the past, you'll know that I'm not particularly hung up on everything being perfectly the same length and whatnot. So, all my measurements are reasonably accurate. 
but like I said, I don't get hung up on it too much. So, a lot of the ribbon that I use, I get from Spotlight. So, like this ribbon, I think I got for maybe a dollar a roll. Just cheap ribbon. Some of it I save from gift wrapping if it's really pretty, like the Chanel ribbon or the purple ribbon is also from gift wrapping. So just look around and see what you have. You don't have to go out and buy stuff. Plus you can get ribbon really cheap anyway. So here's the little carriage going on. A Cinderella themed mug and in less than 20 minutes and in less than 15 minutes I have showed you a collection of bookmarks and made three so guys this is not too difficult to make especially if you need a quick gift for someone or you just like making things like I do so Thank you very much for watching. I will pop links down, uh, down below to a few people who make ribbon bookmarks. So if you don't feel like making them yourself but you really like the aesthetic, you can go find out where to purchase them. If you'd like to see more bookmark tutorials or you have any suggestions for uh, bookmarks or bookmark themes, let me know because I'll be more than happy to make more on camera. They're just really fun and I like adding them to my collection. Yeah, just let me know down below. I hope that wherever you're in the world, you're having a wonderful day, and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.